Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn the difference between network security groups and application security groups. And before going forward, I want you to watch my video on network security groups because that knowledge will be helpful here. Basically, there are two things that you should understand when it comes to network security groups. And those are, you can place them on network interface level or the subnet level and they act as a miniature firewalls for controlling traffic flow to these virtual machines or subnets. With that understanding, let's understand what we are going to do today. Let's say we have one virtual network and in that virtual network we have two virtual machines as you can see. Here we have a web frontend and a database server. And I want this database server to be accessible only with this web frontend. And because of that, I have configured a network security group on this database server so that only this web frontend can access this database server. But let's say I want to scale my web frontends. I want to add multiple VMs like this. In this scenario, I have to add multiple rules with multiple IPs and this is not an easy thing to do. And that's why we have Application security groups. With these application security groups, you can group these VMs together and you can apply these security rules for that entire group. So only the virtual machines in that application security group can access the server. Now that we have a theoretical understanding of what application security groups are, let's do a practical demo to solidify our understanding of application security groups. Alright, now I am in my Azure portal and as you can see I have created the two VMs that I had in my diagram that I have shown you earlier. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy a SQL server in this database server VM and then I'm going to install SSMS Management Studio in my application server so that this acts as a front end to my database. So let me do all that now. Alright, I have done all that here as you can see on the left I have installed SSMS in one of those VMs on the right as you can see I'm running my SQL server instance and I have entered the IP address of this uh, SQL server VM. Now I'm going to try to connect to this database server from this VM here. Let's try to click connect. As you can see I'm getting this error. There should be an issue with network security groups. Now let me go to Azure portal and configure them. As you can see here, I have the network security group for database server and inside of it, I haven't allowed the traffic for my SQL server. And for that, I'm going to click add here and I'm going to change this source to IP addresses and I'm going to insert the IP address of my front end and that is going to be 10.0.0.4, all right. And the source port changes, I'm not going to specify that. And the destination IP is the IP of my database server and that is 10.0.05. And then I can manually specify the port as well, but I'm not going to do it. I can just select MS SQL here so that this port will automatically get selected like this. And the action is allow. And I'm going to change the priority to 900 and uh, I'm going to keep the name as the SQL server here and I'm going to click add. All right, the rule is here as you can see. Now let me go to my virtual machine and try to connect again. And as you can see, I got connected. Now let me go ahead and remove this rule here to show you how to do the exact same thing with application security groups. All right, I have deleted the um, network security group. Now let me go to my resource group and click on create button here and I'm going to search for application security group. As you can see we have a small description here and I'm, I'm going to click create and we don't have to do a lot of uh, configuration here. I'm just going to select the region that I want my application security group to be in. I'm going to select Southeast Asia and then I'm going to Name this application security group, allow web frontends, ASG, could be any name. Let me go to review and create because I don't want to apply any tags here. As you can see, I have just deployed my application security group. Now let me click go to resource. And here, as you can see, we don't have many uh, configurations to do. But if I go back to my virtual machines, 
I'm going to click on this app server VM and if I go to networking section you will find this tab here and that is application security groups. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click configure the application security group section and I can add this VM to these application security groups. So what I'm going to do is this is the VM that I've just created. So I'm going to click on it and save it so that now this VM will be part of that application security group. All right, that is done now. Let me go to the network security group of this database server again and I'm going into inbound security rules of that network security group and I'm going to click add. Here you can specify just like before the application security group as the source. So I'm going to click on it and you will find all the application security groups that you have here and I'm going to click on this one because that is the one that I've just created and source port ranges I'm going to keep as every port and service I'm going to change to MSSQL and this will be a low and the priority I'm going to keep as 900 not that that matters a lot and I'm going to change the name as well and then I'm going to click add all right as you can see the inbound security rule for that application security group is ready now let me go to my VM and disconnect the existing connection and try to connect again as you can see I am still able to access the database server from my application server hope you learned something new today if you have any questions or comments you can leave down below and if you want to be updated with my future videos that I'm planning to do you can subscribe to my channel as well and thanks for watching